Hello and welcome back to Mog the Week. Two debates and a lot learnt about the candidates over the weekend. The Tory leadership election still has five candidates, but we'll be down to four after tonight's vote. A lot was learned from the debates, including Liz Truss's desire to reverse Rishi Sunak's tax changes, and his response that unfunded tax cuts amount to socialism. Kemi Badenoch was able to empathise with those struggling to meet the cost of living by talking about her time making ends meet by flipping burgers and cleaning toilets in McDonald's. I think it's fair to say that Penny Mordaunt is coming under a lot of flack for her apparent shift in opinion on self-ID and policies surrounding women's rights, which she deems unfair. Nevertheless, the most recent membership survey for Con Home has indicated that her support has collapsed from first place contender to third place. In fact, the head-to-heads now indicate that she may not be able to beat Rishi Sunak in the final round anymore. In other interesting news, there are rumours that although Liz Truss's performance has improved, those in the ERG who were instructed to vote for Truss when Suella Braverman dropped out are not entirely on board with that decision. Some Tory Brexiteers and those on the right of the party are privately considering a switch to supporting Badenoch's campaign. We will find out tonight if the numbers indicate that that is what is happening. But conventional wisdom and basic arithmetic points towards Tom Tugendhat's elimination tonight. But what do you think? And who would you like to see battle it out in the final two? Comment below, stay tuned and make sure to subscribe to Mock the Week to stay on top of the leadership race.